This is lesson 5.5 and we're going to talk about another way to divide polynomials using synthetic division. Synthetic division is just what we learned for synthetic substitution. Same thing. Okay, let's look at number 7. Number 7. We are going to write the coefficients in order leaving a zero if they have skipped an exponent. So the highest exponent we have is a 2. So that exponent is 1. The 1 exponent is 7. And then 12. So they didn't skip anything. We have it straight across. Now for the number I'm going to divide over here, I, I need to divide by x plus 4. I'm going to take that 4 and flip its sign to be minus 4 because you know that's where it really crosses the x-axis. Bring down your first number, then multiply, minus 4, add 3, multiply, negative 12, and 0. This number is always one degree under the one that was in the problem. So the degree in the problem was x squared. So this is going to be 1 less for the exponent, so that's going to be, this means that this now is the coefficient for just plain x. And that would be the coefficient for my, well not coefficient, it's my, um, just my regular number. So this answer would look like x plus 3. Okay, with no remainder. That's what the zero is for. So, where I divided by x plus 4. If I take my answer and what I divided by, remember just like in fourth grade um, division problems, 12 divided by 3 is 4. 12 is 0. You can take these two and multiply it 4 times 3 and check to make sure your answer is right. So I'm going to take these two and remultiply to check to make sure I had what, what I had in the beginning. So x times x is x squared. x times plus 4 is plus 4x. 3x and plus 12. So x squared plus 7x plus 12, proving that I did it right because that was our problem. Okay, let's do one more. Let's go do number 12. Okay, on 12, what are my coefficients? My highest coefficient is a 4, so that's 1. My third coefficient would be negative 3. My uh, squared coefficient, I have no squared coefficients, so I have to put it in zero as a placeholder. And then comes my negative 40 and my plus 33. And remember I have to flip the sign on the x minus 7, so I'm going to put positive 7 out here. Bring it down, multiply, add, multiply, add, multiply, add multiply, and then add. So 96. Okay, now where does it all these coefficients go to? This one now, the highest coefficient was a fourth in my original uh, problem. So now this is the coefficient for the th x to the third term. So 1 x to the third plus 1 x squared plus 7x plus 9 with a remainder now I'm going to take I'm going to go ahead and put a plus because there's plus there remainder of 96 over and then I'm going to put my original problem down here or not my original problem but my original divisor over there so I'm going to put x minus 7 